I come from Bogota, Colombia in South America. I'm from a small island in uh, Mauritius. Life here is very similar to where I come from, which is Brazil. Uh, the weather is similar, just in the winter sometimes it's a bit colder here. Melbourne is a very clean city and it's really nice to live in a place where people really look after the city. You find out that everyone is very friendly and everyone is always uh, willing to listen to you or help you out. I'm really glad that uh, my student agent suggest NMIT to do my further studies here in Australia. She said this place uh, had great facilities and very experienced teachers and she was right. So I think I made the right decision. I'm studying Diploma of Tourism at NMIT Preston. Um, and the subjects include Galileo, which is a course how to book tickets, how to look for um, airlines and everything. I like that because there's a lot of different students from different backgrounds, so different countries as well, and the teachers are nice. And So the best facilities at NMIT, um, for me, one of the best is that well, the one that I most use is the library, where you can get everything and you can use the catalog and also look for books even if it's not only in your campus you can look for books in another campus and the internet and the computer lab so these are the best facilities for me. Mm -hmm. At the moment I'm doing a Bachelor of Viticulture and Winemaking which is great, you get to drink a lot of wine or not really but it's good and especially Australia is really good with your wine so it's a good industry to learn about and to get experience from Australian winemakers and also people from uni that are very helpful on the international student out there so there's always interest around me like oh where do you come from, what are you doing here, which is good but it's also good to have uh, Australian student in your class, it makes, it makes you feel better and also you get to practice your English which is very good and you can always ask questions about what to do in Melbourne, where to go and if you need help about anything else, they, they're always helpful. So to go to school from here where I live in Mooney Ponds, I catch a train from Aston, which is just on station, then from Aston I can catch a bus. It takes me to Preston and MIT. Easy and once more transport is pretty flexible here. You've got a train station or the buses or trams, so it's pretty much free way to get where you have to go. Hola guys, welcome to my uh, small apartment. Um, I live here in South Yarra and I live with my fiancé and we found this place over the internet. Quite a lot of research on the internet to find a house. So to find a place here in Australia was easy for me because I knew someone from here. So they just helped me when I came here. I have a friend who lived in this house and then I just could get a bedroom here. I like this area very much and I like the house as well. I like the people who are sharing with my flatmates, so everything, so it's good. Three years ago when, I, when we got to Australia, we lived in a homestay family for five weeks. Sometimes homestays are really expensive, but at the end of the day, when you don't know the city where you're going, probably is the easiest way. I guess it was pretty easy because I knew a few people here and before coming, in Australia, I will just had a look on the internet, make sure I plan myself properly and to find a house. Planning ahead is, is really helpful and getting uh, you need to help you because there's a lot of people that, yeah, that's their job, they are there to help you out, find a house and if you explain to them what you're really looking for, they'll, they'll help you out. I just came here with some savings and when I started to realise that I didn't have enough money, to leave, then I said I should probably look for a job and I just went walking along Docklands and asking people if they were looking for somebody and I was very lucky because the first place I went to ask, then they gave me the job. So it was really quickly. Yeah, so I'm a bartender here at Blue Diamond. I've been here for three years now 
and pretty much my job consists of coming here, setting up the bar and making drinks for people, making sure they're happy, they're seated and that's pretty much it. Yeah, pretty easy job. Melbourne is a funky city, but at the same time, it's such a beautiful place. Like, I'm really glad that I chose this city in Australia. There are so many different places you can go here in Melbourne. You can go shopping, you can go having a coffee with a friend, going clubbing to a bar and have drinks. It's just amazing. Okay, I like Melbourne because it's a friendly city and it's easy to go around and it, it, there's a lot of things to do at night time and daytime and it's a pretty city as well. A lot of history about Melbourne. Uh, and Melbourne does have a lot of parks pretty much in every suburb which is great. A lot of green everywhere outside and, yeah. and it's pretty safe too. So you can go at any time, hang out. People in Melbourne are really friendly. They just love people from other countries, which is good for us, because when you go to a foreign country and you don't know anybody, you wish that everybody can welcome you and be nice to you. And that's exactly what has happened to me. So I definitely recommend to come to Melbourne. You blend into it and you make it, you make it your home. There's so many things around you, like uh, leisure or even friends that you can make to make you feel like you're home here. Yeah.